And new at 10, a couple with a lot of nerve accused of stealing lottery tickets from stores in the South Metro area. Listen to this. If they stole the right tickets, they could cash in on up to a million dollars. Well, Mark Stewart is live in Centennial tonight, and Mark, lottery officials tell you this is pretty unusual. And indeed, this store here on Arapaho, one of at least seven that was struck. For a long time, these scratch off tickets have been targets of thieves, but it's the size and scope of this scheme that has the lottery paying attention. This man and this woman accused of stealing lottery tickets from stores in Metro Denver. Not only Douglas County, but uh, it's happened in Parker, it's happened in Greenwood Village, um, as well as Arapahoe County. Scratch off tickets like these selling from $1 up to 20. And we don't know how it uh, how they're being taken other than they're being taken from behind the counter. These two convenience stores on Arapahoe Road in Centennial, just some of the local stores hit since July 14th. Here's another look at the woman and a black car possibly used in the heists. Here's another look at the man. So we have a number on the tickets and we ask our retailers to um, sell the tickets in that sequential order. That number allows the lottery to track stolen tickets, and the larger prizes must be claimed in person at lottery headquarters, making this a crime of chance. We don't hear of this situation that much. Investigators know there could be other cases yet to be reported, a deceiving duo whose crime spree could impact us all. I mean, just because it's lotto tickets doesn't mean uh, it's not hurting anyone. Because it is, it still hurts that business, um, and in the end, we're all paying for it. And detectives tell us they're noticing a pattern. A majority of these crimes have happened during the week between 6 and 9 o'clock at night. We're live in Centennial tonight. Mark Stewart, 7 News.